Hi, my name is Liz Cabrera, and this is my last lecture. First, I'll be talking about my happy place. One place that I feel completely free in is at night outside with the stars and the moon. There's a certain feeling I get when I look up at the starry sky, even just when I'm trying to sleep and the gloom of the moon seeps into my room. It's very beautiful. And when I look at the planets through my telescope, I feel scared yet excited, even if I've seen the same sight over and over again. There will be moments that the sky will be shining with stars, and I always take a second and stop and just look up, because there might be a time where the sky won't look so beautiful enough to appreciate it. And I think it's really important to always take time and appreciate inspiring qualities, even if it's just the sky. Now I'm going to be talking about my dreams and aspirations. When I was little, there was one solid thing I wanted to be, and it was a paleontologist. A paleontologist is basically someone who studies fossils, and I was a huge lover of history and its artifacts. Also, my obsession with dinosaurs definitely helped me with this. And I was very passionate about this job. I would go in my room and I would watch hours of documentaries about paleontology and dinosaurs. And I would buy and read so many books about it. And I probably watched Jurassic Park like seven times. And I really enjoyed it because I knew what they were talking about and I understood it all. And I was aware that dinosaurs were usually for boys. But my advice to you is to grow up and love whatever you want despite stereotypes. Something I think really important are lessons that we learn in life and one I've learned is to challenge myself and try my hardest. In elementary, I definitely wasn't an honor roll kid, but I pushed myself through the years and I've gotten so much better. All throughout those years I was an average near below average kid and I didn't put any effort into the things I liked or frankly anything at all. I remember thinking to myself I could have done better and feeling bad for the rest of the day. This reminder was something I didn't want anymore. Up until 8th grade, I started pushing myself, and I passed with all straight A's that year. This gave me determination, and I decided to join all honors for some reason. I did better than I thought I would, and it made me happy because I was thinking I could have done a lot better or less, and more of I'm proud of myself. I have had many inspirations throughout my life, as everyone has, and it's easy to look up to someone because we tend to see ourselves in other people, but the person I've always looked up to my entire life was my mother. My mom is a different kind of person. She's not exactly the nicest in the world, but to me, she's one of the strongest. She left all her friends and family in Mexico so that I can have a better education and life here. I always keep that in mind when I'm trying to do better in school, because it's not fair that my mom abandoned her prior life for me to not do good in school. She constantly pushes me and tells me to be successful, and that is the number one thing on my list. And cliche, but there's never going to be anyone else like my mother. and. I aspire to be like her for my children. Eeyore and Tigger are both iconic characters by A.A. A. Milne. They both have very distinguishable characteristics. Like many others, I share some of the same traits with these characters. When I was younger, I definitely was more of an Eeyore. And it's not that I was sad all the time, but I was just a strong pessimist. Part of the reason I thought like this was because everyone else did. Everyone talked about how they hated everyone because of the way they dressed or the people they hung out with. And growing up, I realized I don't care. But young me actually loved Eeyore. Nothing more than I just thought it was a very adorable character, but I did relate to the things he would say. And I would see no point in many things, and I wouldn't try as hard as I could. I remember I would just silently sulk in my room about everything and nothing. I would constantly fight with my siblings, and I would just be really sad. But 8th grade year was much more better, and that was a Tigger related year for me. My friend, who was a grade below me, finally joined Lexington, and that's when I met my best friend, and we became a lot closer than we had been. I started going out with them to the movies and such, and I was having much more fun. Also, this was the time when I was beginning to get my A's in my classes, and that year was when I transformed from mainly an Eeyore to more of a Tigger. And I definitely was more optimistic and a lot more happier. I was having fun in all my classes and I, I was excited to go to each one at least once in my year. And I regret nothing. I really like being happier a lot than being sad. And it was a great transformation. So that's the end of my lecture. And I actually forgot to record this part. So uh, enjoy these baby pictures of me.